Hey, Evan here. Welcome back to the video. I hope you enjoyed the previous video. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk more about moderation and responding to debates. All right. So I was going to go through in this video. So why I do not bother to debate or defend Jesus? Actually, I can. I mean, I'm trained to defend, but I choose not to because it really is a waste of time. All right. When you respond, even with the right answers, you and you know you're right, uh, the person will continue to deny them, ignore them, and even ask you more questions. And trust me, they will ask you more questions. Up to a point where you like, when is this going to end? It will never end because they are, you are actually feeding their ego. That's what you're actually doing. You are, the more you answer, the and then the best part, you know you're right, and they will never admit they are wrong. I can tell you, even for Christians who ask those questions. And some of them are not even Christians even. So, so don't bother to answer them. Okay, I feel it's a waste of time. Uh, people online will ask the funniest questions and many of them don't even make sense. They are, they are, I receive questions that for some reason, I think they're mentally got issues or something or maybe their English is not good. I'm not sure. But they really do ask weird questions. Even sometimes they spell Jesus wrongly. They say Jesus is Satan. Jesus is human. And, and so on. It's like, okay, whatever. If you, yeah, I would just say, whatever. Uh, thank you for, I say, thank you for respond. Full stop. You know, that's what I always say. You know, thank you for full stop. Okay. And try not to say anything negative to anyone. Okay. Try to say something positive. Okay. And uh, just that you know, right, it's actually Satan's objective to direct your attention on the negative than the positive response because most of the time, so just ignore them. It's true. These these things, if you soak too too deep into it, it will discourage you. It will make you don't feel like want to eventually. It may cry even sometimes. It's like, oh, this person really bully me, you know. So don't don't let that happen, please, please. As I say, just ignore them. Just say thank you and move on. All right. If you can delete them, <laughs> delete those questions. If you can just delete them, okay. So instead of focusing on the positive, uh, on, so instead you should be pos focused on the positive. Uh, spend your time on those who need prayer and prayer. And there will be, there will be people who need prayer. So what, in what case um, do I delete or ban someone? All right, this is the thing, my golden rule for moderation. How do I moderate my responses? Number one, I will never ever ban anyone because you never know that person one day might open up to Jesus, which does happen. And this is a true story. There was this person on TikTok who has been following me for months, I think, I think three to four months. And every time I post a video, he'll post something very nasty. All right, very, and not just one video. He'll go to every of my videos and post negative things. Every one of them. Say, I was a liar. What makes you think is this doesn't work? It's BS, so on. <laughs> Literally, all right. And uh, what's interesting is that suddenly, I think it was just last week, I posted about God's love. I talked about God's love. And this person showed a thumbs up and a heart shape. I was like, oh, I was shocked. You know, for the first time, this person did not put a sarcastic comment, <laughs> okay? And you never know, that can happen to, to you also. You will see those anti-Christ people suddenly become followers of Christ. And sometimes they will even apologize to you also, okay? <laughs> That's very nice to feel, <laughs> okay? So any verbal insults or hate speech must be deleted, okay? This is my, 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 my line. If, you, if I see any sign like WTF or vulgar language being written on the comment, I will straight away delete no chance. All right? I will not allow this type of things to happen on my, on my channels. All right? If you are unable to delete, for example, you cannot delete in Reddit, you cannot uh, delete in some places, all right? you can report them. All right? In Reddit, you cannot delete, so you can report them. In TikTok, you can delete comments. In Facebook, you also can delete comments. So just delete them. They will keep coming, just can delete, 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 don't answer. And they will notice that you will delete. <laughs> and what's interesting, the more you delete, the more frustrated they get. Yeah, you will, you will see that. And the more they comment, and then the more you need to delete. And then after a while, they will slowly give up. It's like, this person is not getting my attention. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. And he will, not, he will notice he won't disturb you after, after a long time. <laughs> so this is what will happen. Okay, just delete them. Don't answer them. Alright, so any uh, comment that encourages other religions to debate, also delete them. So I have people who ask questions uh, about our Bible. It's the same as whatever religious book they have. Those type of comments I will delete immediately because I don't want to encourage 
different religions to come in and argue, I'm right, you're wrong, I'm right, you're wrong, what you believe is wrong, prove to me that your God is right. No, this is a waste of time. Please don't do that. Okay? Use the God Questions website. Let's give them the link. All right? And let them go and find out themselves. Okay? That is not your job. Okay? If they really want to know, ask them to for a one-to-one online session. You can talk to them if you want to. If you feel you want to, then you do so. But I don't encourage you to do that. Because I would rather encourage you to spend more time to pray for the sick and pray for those who are in need. That is more important to me. Okay? Any comment and condemns anyone, I also delete them. So as long as that, there are people, all right, there are people that say Peter says God is real and he shares testimony. And then someone replied, no, Peter, you are a liar. You are BS, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I will delete that. Definitely, I will delete that. I, I will uh, not allow people to insult other people. You can insult me. You can insult God, no problem. I'm fine with that. But never insult my followers never insult all right, people that I care about all right, that I cannot to- tolerate so that I will delete definitely without any, any questions asked so I will put this up uh, I think I put this up in the worksheet for you I did not put this in the worksheet but I think I put it up just for your reference uh, in case you need it and you know when to delete and when not to delete as well. Okay, so take note, the rule of thumb is any, any, anyone, anytime, sorry, uh, anytime, not anyone. <laughs> sorry, my English, let me change my PowerPoint. Anytime. Okay, so sorry about that. So anytime you're unsure what to do, all right, you need to ask yourself uh, this very important question. And this question will help you in all situations. Just answer this golden question and you know what to do. What would Jesus have done and how would he respond? So let's say you receive a negative response, right? And you're not sure what to do. You don't feel like deleting him. You, need, you feel you need to respond and you're not sure. So you ask yourself, if I am Jesus today, what would Jesus do? <laughs> and that will give you the answer. All right. So how do you know what Jesus does? You need to read the Bible. Then you will know. And you need to pray to him. Then you will know. You pray to God and God, if God put upon your heart to answer in that way, just answer it in that way. You know, sometimes uh, very interesting is that um, I get insults sometimes from people uh, that say that God is not real. But when I answer him, he, he actually asked me a question. But I did I totally ignore his question and said, God still loves you and God cares about you. All right, I actually said that. It's not, got nothing to do with his question, actually. But I just felt I wanted to say that to him. And what's interesting is that he will respond in... Some of them will respond very negatively. Say, no, that's not true. God, da, 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 whatever. Or some will respond, thank you. So it depends on what you feel God is putting in your heart to respond. So I'll see you in the next video of how to hear God, which is very important when it comes to online evangelism. Online evangelism involves a lot about depending on God and using uh, let, letting God know, you know how you should respond to those people and what should you say. So I'll see you in the next video. Again, God bless.